Hey everyone, so this week we're doing a date night box, so it has everything you need to make a great uh, meat and potatoes dinner for two to four people. So uh, it's going to include two 10 ounce fillets, so these are awesome fillets if you want to have a giant fillet for two people, you can do that, or if you want to um, split them up into smaller fillets, you can slice them in half and uh, do four. Uh, it's going to include a pound of the uh, this great asparagus. This is wonderful. I've been eating it raw all day. So it's great. And then we made a really nice compound butter with some lemon, uh, shallots, and herbs. We, it's going to have a demi gloss with some roasted mushrooms. And then uh, two potatoes that are going to be seasoned and oiled. All you have to do is pop them in the oven and you'll have uh, baked potatoes as well. So that's what's going to be in the box. Um, and I'll include some tips uh, how to cook it. All right, so we're gonna start with the asparagus. Uh, the compound butter is gonna come right on top of the asparagus. So you just wanna take that off. And I am preheating a pan, getting that nice and hot. So you can definitely do this on your grill if you want, if you wanna grill the asparagus, uh, as well as the steak, that'll work perfectly. But I'm gonna do this in a pan. Uh, so we'll get our pan nice and hot. Then I'm gonna just take the asparagus, pop that right in there and then add some water right to the pan. As long as you have that pan nice and hot, it should start steaming uh, almost immediately. And we're just gonna cover that. We're gonna steam this for a couple minutes. Uh, this is some really nice fresh asparagus, so it's really tender. I've been eating it raw all day, so you really just need a gentle steam on it. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that water out and then uh, throw the butter right in there and it'll make a nice emulsified butter sauce for these. All right, so that just steamed for about five-ish minutes or so. So I'm just gonna take this out. It'll be nice bright green when they're done. Uh, I like my asparagus a little on the al dente side. I don't want it to be mushy or overcooked or anything like that. So I'm gonna take it out, reserve this in a bowl. And I'm going to take a little bit of that water out. Now I am going to reserve a little bit of the water in the pan just to emulsify this butter with. So I'll put that butter right in that same pan. Just give this a swirl as it melts. It kind of comes together with that water and stays nice and emulsified. I'm just going to pour that right over the asparagus. You can season with a little bit of salt. The coarser the better. There you go. And that is a lovely, delicious asparagus. Alright, so next I'm going to season up this filet salt on all sides, some nice fresh ground black pepper as well. And I've got my pan nice and hot here. So you want your pan to be ripping hot. Uh, if there's a little smoke coming off your pan, that's all right, as long as it's not a uh, ton of smoke, but you do want a really hot pan so you get a nice char on it. Give that a nice little press. So you want to see here on both sides, you should have a real nice crust like this going on. I usually just hit it on the sides for a little bit. So we're at about 108, somewhere in there. So I definitely like to use a thermometer when I'm cooking steaks. Some people say it's cheating, I say it's accurate. Uh, if you are looking for rare, it's about 120. If you're gonna carry over around five degrees, so Rare is about 120, mid rare is about 125 or so, medium 130, so go up around there. And then you still want to rest your steak because that's going to carry up to what you want to be at. So if you don't have a thermometer, um, you can use the pinch test. It's really not going to be as accurate, but it'll feel really loose if it's rare and it starts to get a little tighter as it's more done. So uh, if you give your steak a little bit of a squeeze, that'll get you roughly in the ballpark. 
Um, really, you got to do this a lot to get just used to cooking steaks like that. I know some cooks that can just look at a steak, know how long it's been on the grill, know what it's at. If you're not there, thermometer is a sure, uh, sure way to make sure that your steak is cooked accurately how you want it every single day. So these are like 10, 15 bucks on Amazon. So, and I'm gonna pull this right at around 120. So just a couple more minutes, we'll be good to go. It's so gonna have uh, potatoes, so they're gonna be seasoned, oiled, salt and pepper, and wrapped in foil. So all you have to do is uh, pop these in your oven, 350 for you know 45 minutes to an hour or so. And then those are gonna be good to go. Dress them how you'd like, some SMC butter or whatever you'd like. And then this sauce, uh, it's uh, demi-gloss, so a nice rich beef, uh, beef gloss reduction with uh, some roasted mushrooms. Uh, we threw some thyme in there as well. So all you have to do for that is just hit that in a saucepan, um, just bring it up uh, until it's hot, then you can dish that right over your steak. So this is a date night box. We hope you all enjoy it. And uh, we'll be doing some cool things like this. Feel free to leave some suggestions of what, uh, what kind of meals like this you'd like to see in the future.